Hello and welcome to Cheap Homes. Uh, I said I was going to make a video on uh, selling a car and uh, this video is going to be kind of intricate. Uh, I used to sell cars. Um, little moonshine. Um, where do I want to start? Uh, first of all, before you go in, uh, settle your financing. In other words, go to a credit union uh, and get approved for financing. Uh, don't tell the dealer that you already have financing. Uh, and when you go in, tell them you're going to finance the car. And you're going to go in the last day of the month. The very last day of the month. And you're going to buy a car that day. Now, if you want, you can go on the lot, maybe, uh, you know, uh, another day and then come back but do not buy a car until it's the last day of the month because the last day of the month they want to get their units in and it has to do with bonuses with the dealership literally your one car might be matter of fact go at the end of the day uh, you know just as long as you're gonna buy off the lot the reason why I'm making this video because <clears throat> There are some manufacturers out there that are selling some cars at pretty reasonable prices. Uh, I know I'm a Dodge Chrysler guy, but it is. It's Dodge, Stellantis, the Fiats, the Dodges, the Rams. Uh, there's a lot of them out there, new ones. Uh, you can get a, a six-cylinder Dodge Charger. The sticker on it is like 36000 You can get it for twenty-six. Um, and just go on those websites like cars.com or uh, cars.com will have it. If not, try Kelly Blue Book. Um, and yeah, you can get a six cylinder, brand new Dodge, Charger, four door, six cylinder, automatic. You know, nothing too fancy, but you know, get you from A to B. Also, the uh, the six-cylinder charger, I think it's the SXT, same deal. They're about $36,000. You can get one for $26,000, $27,000. Uh, and those two cars are good cars. Uh, but they also have the Jeep, I believe it's the Renegade. Uh, you get that for about ten grand off, too, but that's nine. I don't really... Uh, I don't really uh, approve of uh, the reliability record of those vehicles. But um, that, that's how I used to buy cars. Actually, I, what I would do is I would get the Boston Papers. Uh, I live outside of Massachusetts, but I'd go get the Boston Papers, and I would buy what they call the, the bait from the... Uh, bait and switch the dealerships in Boston would run this and I go in and they would have a nice shiny black pickup truck out in front and say hey look at that nice and no, I want the, the one that was average no you don't want that ugly red. no I want that ugly red truck <laughs> write it up and they just write it up I get a great deal on a car to actually be less than the cost and I finance it with them that's part of their requirement See, now, when you finance, what they're going to do is they might approve you. I mean, rates are ridiculous now. They might approve you at, at 10%, and then they're going to hit you with 16%. And uh, they're going to make money on that spread. The bank's going to give them a kickback. <clears throat> but the bank will have approved you with 10%. Don't even go to a bank. Go to a credit union. You get even a lower rate. Or ideally, just pay cash. <laughs> I mean, rates are, interest rates are so high, just buy what you can afford for cash and be done with it. I'd hold off on used cars as the new inventory builds up, there's going to be more trade-ins, and the used car market will follow, it will soften. Um, you know, that I might, I mean, you might be looking out six months, you know. Uh, I think they, 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 they said they're going to build 15 million cars in this country this year. And uh, they're going to...
to sell 14 million. So they're going to be, it's going to be extras at the end of the year. Uh, you know, but the last day of the month. And when you go, into, go in there, tell them right off the rip, you're financing. You're financing, you're financing. Now they're going to try to sell you on the payment, okay? Now the reason why you say you're financing, even though when you walk out with their fine, you're going to go straight to the credit union and refinance the car with them. I'd like to pick up the car first before you do all that. But if you pick up the car, you're going to go refinance with the, the credit union that you've already been, you've already spoken to. Um, because that gives them a bigger spread, so they can give you a bigger discount. They think they're making more money, but in the end, they're not going to be making that money. But they might throw some, get them to throw some of that on the car. Don't tell them <laughs> that uh, they have that, and you're, that's why you're because that it. They're not going to give you anything then. Because um, really, if, if you work this deal properly, you could actually, uh, where the, if you take enough of that profit from the, the spread on the, on the financing and put it, get it put towards the car, the deal that could come out losing. Uh, if you're going to buy a used car, wait, 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 wait. Uh, you have to buy something, buy something that you know, you're going to drive for six months or a year or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, when you go in there, tell them you're financing. He's going to try to sell you on the payment. Don't worry about the payment. Keep going back to the, the price of the car. You want money off the price of the car. And then they'll just stretch you out from 60 months to 72 months or 48 to 60 months. And they're going to sell you on the payment. You don't. You're not concerned about the payment. You're concerned about what you're going to pay for the car. Uh, and they they're doing all kinds of add-ons and extras and nitrogen in your tires and all this other nonsense. It's nonsense. Like they'll lube your doors for you for a couple hundred dollars. It's all ridiculous. Um, they may even charge you. Who knows? They'll probably charge you a detail fee. But, uh, yeah, go in the last day, know what you want, know what color you want. I try to be as flexible as you could with the color and the options. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of profit in options, so don't like go crazy with options. I know you start, you go in, you're like, oh, I just need a car, and then you look at this list, and then, oh, I need this, and I need this, and I need this. Like um, $200 floor mats, there's like $175 in profit to the deal. Go to Walmart and pay $25 for them. <laughs> don't. But don't don't go crazy with the options. Um, go on the last day of the month. You know what you want. You know what color. And uh, you're financing. Now the trade, um, I tell you, you're better off selling the car on your own. Because, you know, what they're going to do, I, 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 I shouldn't say that. In some states, what you can do is, <laughs> I've, if you get a lot of money for your trade, see the taxes on, so like say, say you're buying a $26,000 Dodge Charger, and you got a car that's, you know, you figure it's worth $10,000, but they're going to show you fifteen on the trade, right? So that extra $5,000, that comes off the purchase price of the car. You don't have to pay um, sales tax on it, which is you know, 7%. So. Uh, but, you know, really, I just I just sell the car on your own, uh, especially if it's a, you know, it's a car, if it's a car that they're not going to put on their lot, if the car is worth less than... 10, 15 grand, it's not going to go anywhere near their lot. They're going to have to take it to auction, sell it to somebody else. Just a big hassle for them. And they're going to charge you for the hassle. So sell it on your own. But just go in there. You don't have a trade. You're giving the car to your cousin, your kid, whatever. Uh, no, you, if they if they demand, they test drive it or pray, you let them. But you know, tell, explain to them that you're not trading in your car. Uh, we we'll go in there, 
identify amps, you know what you want. You've been on the lot, you've already looked at the car, seen the inventory. Don't go crazy with the options. Me, I don't even like to negotiate with these guys. <laughs> uh, the last time I bought a car, actually, uh, well, I knew the guy. I worked with the guy I was buying the car from. I told him, I said, go in there and get some money off this car. He did, he did okay. Uh, <laughs> that's what we'd say. I'm going to see what I can do for you. Yeah, I'll see what I can do for you. Um, but yeah, I knew the guy, so we are friends. But, um, yeah, and just, you know, whatever, tell him, you know, you think your, your credit's good enough to get a loan, but, you know, I don't think it's, it's, it's okay. Let him run your credit. You know, when it comes back perfect, they'll jack it up, and they'll do that money on the car. And, you know, if, then you can look at, you know, their little add-ons and this and that. You're going to have to pay this conveyance fee. Don't even argue that because they all do it. I can't figure out a way around it. I never knew anybody who would get away, but a way, I'll find a way around it. Uh, but that's my suggestion, you know, a charger or a challenger, the six cylinder base models. Get them for 26 grand. It's not bad. New car. And those cars are reliable, you know, the, you know, you should get 200,000 miles out of either one of those if you want to run it into the ground, maybe 250. Maybe 300 if you get lucky and take good care of it. Uh, and they get pretty good gas mileage. I think they could, both of those get like 30 on the highway. Uh, yeah, but if you, you know, you, you're looking for a used car, wait, because the, the new cars are coming on the lots and they're going to be a little overloaded this year at the end of the year. And the trade ins are going to be rolling in and the, um, the repos are rolling in from the banks. The banks are refusing to take the paper losses because they can run them through the auctions as many times as they want. It doesn't cost them anything extra like it would a dealer. So they're, they're stacking up these repos um, at the auction houses. So it's basically you've got like this big wave coming in on the car prices and it's like, holy. Um, it's going to be a bit of a financial crisis too because these car loans, they were bad loans like auto loan back securities is what they are just like the mortgages anyway uh you have a good day um cheap homes listen i do want to get into that a little bit here oh, uh san francisco's market is down the most uh like 17 percent then you got austin 10 percent phoenix 10 percent um you know i always look at property taxes and i'm here in new england um, I did see a good house in, um, it was Watertown on Zillow. It's like around $200,000 and it was all redone. Uh, taxes are like four grand. I don't like four grand taxes. If you go up to Hamden County in Massachusetts or Berkshire County, uh, you'll see a couple homes. There's another one on the other side of Springfield towards Worcester in Brimfield, Mass. That one's 119000 Taxes are like $1,400 on that house. There's uh, one in Beckett. Uh, needs some work, but it's $89,000 cheap. Uh, and that, those taxes are like $1,200 a year. Three bedroom, two bath. It's like A-frame on like a third of an acre. And then there's another one, um, I don't think where the other one was. Oh, there's another one there. I believe it's in Berkshire County. Uh, it's, but it's small. It's a one bedroom, one bath. And I don't like it because it's across the street from a river. You know, uh, this homeowner's insurance is getting crazy. Uh, if you're buying in Florida, homeowner's insurance is going cuckoo. And then you got this thing with the condos falling down and the state wants reserves for the, some people's common charges have tripled and like uh, the average homeowner's policy in the st whole state of Florida is like is $6,000 for the year. And it's, you know, not every home in Florida is a million dollar home. There's a lot of trailers. 
Anyway, so, uh, and I just want to tell you what I've been doing with the stock market. Uh, I had gotten really stuck on a stock called Mullen, and like really stuck. So what I did is I bought down, and I bought down, <laughs> you're going to laugh, 14 cents a share was what I averaged in at. Now that stock yesterday, yesterday, no, excuse me, Thursday, shot up to 30 cents. I know I should have sold because today I could have bought it back at 18. But I think it's going to, um, I think it's going to pop again. Um, and if it goes back to 10 or less, I'm going to be buying more. I have 10,000 shares. Now, is it like, well, it's, <laughs> we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hold this to try to get rich fast. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's what's going on. Um, uh, where I am on the market, like, uh, I've been trading since April. And on average, I've been trading $2,000 over since, was it April, May, June. So over three months. Uh, and I'm up, yeah, I'm up a little over 100%, which is pretty much what I, well, what I, what I better get. <laughs> I, do, I, I say that because I originally was trading 1200 and then like, a week ago, two weeks ago, I put in another four grand. So, but now I have, uh, what do I have? 5275 dollars in the account, and I'm at seven thousand dollars in change. I was up to eight the other day, but like I said, I'm trying to get rich. <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, so if you want to you want to take a look at Mullen, you know, it should squeeze. Uh, I think, you know, I think the, the CEO, maybe he was a little crooked, but he's uh, sort of like uh, on the hot seat right now. Kind of like Carvana, where they started to turn their ways. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. We'll see what he does. Uh, they said they're going to start producing cars in August. So... If they do that, like, listen, <laughs> you're going to be watching me. Uh, I'll have, I'll be drinking Jack Daniels, not moonshine. <laughs> I'm going to be going for the real deal. Anyway, take it easy. Um, and uh, I'll keep you posted on Cheap Homes. Interest rates are going up, so, you know, hopefully you're a cash buyer. <laughs> uh, you know, I mentioned uh, San Francisco and Austin and uh, Phoenix. Florida, listen, it's like, I don't know, if you want to live there, go down there, buy a house, don't spend a lot of money, and don't get homeowner's insurance. Pay cash and don't pay homeowner's insurance, because it's ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, I know there are probably somebody who has some money around and who actually is an investor. Austin is a great place. It's a happening place. Uh, I don't think it's gonna really going to die. San Francisco, well, they got some work to do up there. L.A. is getting hurt. I notice uh, the stuff on the strip in Las Vegas seems to be uh, pulling hard, uh, both in Trump's condos and uh, the place next door. I don't know. I, Freaks me out living in Trump's kind of like, is, is somebody going to do some, something dumb over here? Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll keep you posted on Mullen. I'm in at 14 cents. We're at 18 cents today. So, you know, I expect this thing to start squeezing and popping next week. Uh, will I sell at 30? I might, I might sell half. <laughs> anyway. You have a good night, and uh, thanks for listening. Please like it and share it, because I posted a video the other day. It had nothing to do with money. Nobody's interested in anything but money. I'm thinking about a new name. <laughs> Dollar Bill. Tell me what you think.
dollar dollar bill, yo. Give me a holler. Bye.